Congratulations on the purchase of your new RH chair. You have chosen an exceptional product that is designed to provide you with superior comfort and flexibility for many years to come. Please take a few minutes now to ensure that you get the maximum benefit from your chosen product. Your body will be grateful. Before we start, please lock the mechanism somewhere above 90 degrees. It makes it easier to do the adjustments for the first time. You will find the control wheel that locks and unlocks the tilt mechanism on your right-hand side. Turn forward to lock. Another important thing to remember when using any office chair is to sit right back in the chair. Far too many people perch or slouch on their chair, and this is a common reason for backache. Please ensure that the armrests, if fitted, are tightened and at the right widths for you. To adjust the height, simply press the trigger to raise or lower the arms, as shown. Depending on what model arm you have, you can also rotate the top or slide it backwards and forwards. Your lower arm should be roughly 90 degrees to your upper arm and your shoulders relaxed. You will have noticed that the controls on your right are pictorial in order to simplify their use. We will start with the height of the chair. Simply lift the first lever to activate the seat height adjustment. Try and make sure that your hips are slightly above your knees in order to create an open angle above 90 degrees. Also, make sure that your feet are flat to the floor. The correct seat height can help the circulation of blood and oxygen flow and can also help your digestive system to perform better. If you have a desk that is adjustable, you can also ensure that this is at the correct height. The next adjustment is the seat slide. Lift the third lever to release the seat slide and set to the correct length for you. Ensure that there is some space between the front edge of the seat and your lower limbs. One or two inches is usually good. Having the correct amount of seat depth helps support your thighs, while at the same time ensuring that your blood supply does not get cut off to lower limbs. Next, we look at the height of the backrest. Reach behind your chair and flick the lever upwards, and then use both your hands to raise or lower the backrest. Press the lever downwards to lock when you have obtained the correct back height. The key to correct back height is to be comfortable and to ensure that your lower back in particular is well supported. Try a few different settings until the backrest feels supportive and comfortable. If your chair is fitted with a pneumatic lumbar pump, you can add or release air in order to add some additional support to the lumbar region if you wish. Remember to not over-inflate the lumbar support. All RH chairs have adequate support for the vast majority of people. The neck rest, if fitted, is adjustable in height and depth and can be a valuable feature, especially if working in a reclined position. The next adjustment we are going to show you is the independent back angle. Lift the second lever to release the independent back angle adjustment and move your back until optimum support is obtained. Then release the lever to lock in place. This adjustment allows you to get the best support and comfort at all times, whether working in an upright or a reclined position. Now that we have done the basic adjustments, we can move on to the tilt mechanism. The tension control wheel is located on the left side and has a plus and a minus sign on it. This controls the resistance of the mechanism. You can simply alter this by turning the wheel forwards to reduce the tension or by turning it backwards to increase the tension. Once that is done, sit back in the chair and unlock the tilt mechanism. You only need a quarter turn to switch between open and locked. If the chair pushes you forward, you turn the tension wheel forwards to reduce the resistance. If the chair reclines too easily, you simply increase the resistance by turning it backwards. When set correctly, you have balanced micro-movements giving you more energy. Now, you and your chair should be perfectly balanced, and you can experience active dynamic sitting. The chair can now be controlled by simple body movements, while at the same time providing you with optimum support. Your chair has an infinite locking mechanism and can therefore be locked in any position. 
However, there are many good reasons why you shouldn't lock your chair. Movement and variation will increase blood flow and oxygenation to your body and is good for keeping your mind more alert. Please remember, sitting still will get you nowhere.